My name is Steve Brostowitz, a teacher with transitional kindergarten, kindergarten and first grade. And today I'm going to tell you about a clock project you can do with your kids. Now there's one of three ways you can go with this depending on what your goals are. One, you could do an explicit directed instruction where you already have the pre-cuts and you demo how to make this and then you keep the example out while they're making it. And it's pretty straightforward, step one, step two, step three. I did it, and I'm going to keep my example up, and you're going to follow the directions. Another way you can go with that is a little more open-ended and a little more constructivist. So instead of having the pre-made stuff where they're cutting and gluing and looking at your example, you're going to want to say, kids, I have a big poster board for you. How can we make a circular clock on it? Hmm. Maybe one kid generates an idea with this tin. Oh, we could trace it. Yeah, that's a good idea. As you continue to generate ideas, maybe you dangle this string in front of them and start to make a circle in the air. And one student thinks, well, maybe we could go around and make a circle. Again, you might have to give them some leading questions or some demos to get them on the right track, but it's more students thinking of ways they can make a clock when you provide them some raw materials with a little bit of guidance. When you do this this way, you probably don't want groups larger than two, three at most, because you want every child to be able to do something. While one child's writing numbers to glue on the clock, another child's cutting the clock, while another child is cutting out the hands of the clock. If you make it larger than that, oftentimes you'll have some idle people in the group with nothing to do. So think about group size before you do that. Now, a third way to do this, a way I really like, is towards the end of a unit, maybe towards the end of that kindergarten year, definitely could do it in first grade. And that's junkyard wars. You gotta collect everything people bring in. Cereal boxes, old toilet paper tubes, glitter, stickers, whatever you can get your hands on. Have a place to store that, because throughout the year it's fun to do junkyard wars, where you say, hey kids, look at all this stuff. Who thinks they can make a clock out of it? And you'd be surprised. Now when you make groups here, try to have partnerships where you have one of your students who tends to be more advanced with a student who could use some guidance from that student. And together as a team, they can make something pretty spectacular. I've seen kids come up with watches that they've made out of rubber bands. I've seen kids come up with clocks that they made out of hula hoops and attach numbers to that pretty fascinating what they could do once they have the concept of the clock and some practice with the clock during the unit. A good end of the unit project is Junkyard Wars. Who can make a clock out of this stuff? This has been Steve Brostowitz explaining to you a good clock project. I'll see you next time.